In today's video, we are going to be turning what once seemed like our walkway to hell into our new walk-in pantry. We're Lucy and Lahiri, husband and wife living in the south of Sri Lanka. Thanks for joining us in today's video. So originally this narrow dark corridor led to a squat hole toilet. Come on in to the worst room in the house, the toilet. <laughs> As you can see, it's not the nicest of toilets. The ceiling is really low, it's really dark, the building work, it's like an extension, it's not great. So this has to go. Now I have nothing against squat hole toilets, but this one in particular was just my worst nightmare when we bought this house. It was dark, damp, dingy, it was full of creepy crawlies, it was just, it just had to go. And then the plan for the future is all this building is going to be knocked down. So when we started to change the layout of our home, we knew that the horrid toilet area had to be knocked down. And we had a whole lot of fun doing so. Like seriously, this is how we used to shower every day. the fun really begins. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so we've knocked it down and we've blocked it up. So this, we now have this random small narrow area in our home. And then we were left thinking, what do we now do with this small narrow space that leads to nothing? And then we started doing our kitchen renovations. And we had the idea of creating a minimalist kitchen design that's simple and not too cluttered. So then the idea popped into our head that the tiny narrow space that we have. <coughs> so then we had the idea that the tiny narrow space that's here, which is actually right next to our kitchen, <coughs> would make for the perfect walk in pantry. So this area here, which used to be the corridor that led to the really horrible squat toilet, is now going to be our kitchen pantry where there's going to be lots of shelves and it's just a nice place to be able to store all of our food and cooking utensils. That is the plan. So the first job was to install the electrics. We needed to add a light to this area and then we could get the plaster work started. Did you just smell it? We are almost done with this area now. We've had the first coat of plaster go on the walls or the putty, whatever you call it. The guy is coming back today to finish the second coat of putty and then we just need to start adding the shelves and doing the finishing touches. And we just picked up some of this really nice, good quality wood. So this is gonna be what is gonna be our shelves in our pantry area. So we still have to cut these to size, sand them down, varnish them, and then they'll be ready to go into our pantry. Then we started digging the floor up so we could add a drainage system from what will soon be our kitchen sink and connecting the bathroom shower too. All right, so this is the current situation of our what will be pantry area. The floor is all dug up because we're running the drain that is gonna go from the kitchen sink all the way through to connect with the out pipes of the bathroom. So the floor is just non-existent at the moment, but everything else is done. So the electrics are done in this area. We've got one light fitted here and all of the puttying is finished. But tonight we're gonna to be focusing on like sanding it all down and making it smooth. Lahiri calls it cutting. I don't know the technical term, but that's what we're going to be working on tonight.
My job today is filling the floor in here because we now have our drainage system complete, which feels so, so good. So it means I can now fill in all of the holes that is around the drainage. And then once we're done with that, tonight we're getting on the floor. It's the biggest, most funnest part of the whole renovations because the floor means we're one huge step closer to having a finished, completed space. And the drainage system is not something I'd ever thought about before, especially when starting our renovations and our pantry kitchen renovations in particular. The only time you really think about the drainage is when you don't have any drainage and it's so uncomfortable to not have a proper drainage system because it just means your grey waste is just lying around the place whether it's your shower water, your washing machine water, I know that sounds kind of gross but at this point it doesn't really gross us out very much but it may freak you out a little bit um, but having a drainage system that is complete and you can see it working is just the best feeling ever. And I keep saying it, but that's what's so amazing about doing our own house renovations is that we get to appreciate the little things so much more than if we just have like a brand new place that we didn't participate in creating. You know, it's these little things like having fresh running water, having hot water, having a drainage system, having a toilet. Um, we really are so grateful for having these basic things in our house. Yeah, it just makes us appreciate things so much more. Ah, oh, honey, honey. Okay, so upper that area. It's so funny when it's just me and Ranji doing a job in the day. Lahiri is at work today at the sanctuary, so it's just me and Ranji here. And our communication is hilarious. Like we don't understand what each other are saying and we try to speak each other's language, but it's not, it doesn't work very well. So our way of translating today is when I'm doing work, he'll tell me puluang in an area that I can do something and epa in an area that I can't do something. So epa means like stop, don't do something here. Puluang is I can do something in this area. So <laughs> I will pull on the drainage area now, but upper the concrete area that he's just concreted in the T joint of our drain. <laughs> I'm so confused. How do you want to I'm just gonna go for it. edit our videos and what our editing process is like. So like most content creators will tell you, music is everything. So I want to tell you about Epidemic Sound who are the platform we use to find all of our music and sound effects for all of our videos. We've been using Epidemic Sound for our YouTube channel for a couple years now and we can highly, highly recommend. If you're creating your own videos and you want to monetize them or you need to find copyright free music for your other projects, then look no further. I feel like using Epidemic Sound has really assisted us with elevating our videos and by also helping with my editing progression. Honestly, I think it's an absolutely incredible platform and I've actually found some of my favorite music tracks on there.
The website is super easy to navigate and once you've created your account and you're finding and downloading and listening to the music there, it remembers what you like. So it helps your YouTube channel or whatever videos you're creating to stick to a certain style. I love looking through what Epidemic Sound are recommending for me and our YouTube channel. It's probably my favorite part of the editing and just going through that and saying what fits with the kind of video that I'm making at the time. There are over 40,000 music tracks to choose from and you can filter through by genre, theme or mood. And there's over 90,000 sound effects to choose from also. And another great thing about Epidemic Sound is you're not tied into a contract. You can cancel anytime. So if you wanna try it out for yourself, we'll leave the link in the description box below. And with that, you'll also get a 30 day free trial. Wow, sorry about the sweat dripping off my face. It's so hot today and Shoveling all this mud in this small space was actually a lot harder than it looks. But I just said to Ranji that we need to take these nails down. I don't know if you can see them up there uh, because they are ugly, they're cut eye and we don't need them. And then I thought it'd be a really good idea to paint them and then hang the brown rope, like the rusticy style rope off of them and hang this piece of, it's like really old Kurundu cinnamon that I found in our garden and hang this on the wall like that. It'd be lush for like hanging our little tea towels for the kitchen or I don't know what else, maybe some house plants, I don't know. <laughs> I think that will look really nice in this space. It'll keep it with that rusticy vibe so I think we're gonna do that. I just need to buy some brown rope, the twine and I'm gonna sand it down now. I think it'll be, yeah, that's nice, see, it's soft. Mm -hmm. It's not the best sandpaper, mm -hmm. but. Ah, oh, it's so windy. Yeah, it's nice when you start shaving it down. Huh? Yeah, Kurundu. I love it when you're doing a project and then your ideas just come out of nowhere. And you're like, oh yeah, that would actually look really cool and work really well in the space. Now I started shaving this down. It smells so good. It's gonna look really nice in the space. Mm. Good idea, Lucy. <laughs> I always really like the idea of having driftwood in my future home, if I ever had one. And now I do have my own home. Driftwood is not something we can really easily get here, I don't think. Like, you don't really see lots of nice pieces of wood washed up on the beaches here, just a whole load of plastic. Whereas in England, you go on the beaches, there's really nice pieces of wood that is really worn down by the ocean and really nice and decorative in a house. But here we can't really get that, but instead we can get nice pieces of cinnamon and other pieces of really lovely wood. So. I just love that when you're doing things like this, you can really personalize it and make it your own and make it unique. And yeah, it's not like every other modern house that you can just go and buy and every house looks exactly the same pretty much, just maybe with a different layout, but you can make it your own and keep part of the old original design. Like what we've done, instead of just knocking the house down and starting completely from scratch, we're using the old design kind of trying to keep those characteristics in place but just putting a little twist a modern twist on top plus we only renovated half of our house the other half is still falling down <laughs> Look like elephants, huh?
Good morning everyone. I've just woken up to a peaceful still morning here and I just got up and made us a mocha which is actually coffee and chocolate together. I have some cacao powder that's come over from the UK ages ago and I'm now starting to use it. Um, so I've made it in our coffee today, a nice mocha, and I'm going to be using it in Lahiro's birthday cake because it's his birthday today also. But we've got some big plans for today because we're going to be finishing our pantry area. It's so close to being finished. We've actually just finished this floor. It's not finished, but we started the floor. <laughs> um, so we did that last night. We had all the guys over and they were helping us to get the first layer of concrete down. Today we're going to be finishing that pantry area, which is really exciting because then we can actually start moving all of our things in there. It's my husband's birthday, so it's a special day. Magayadami. Magisamiya. Coffee have. Oh, it's a special kind of coffee, it's got chocolate in it. Oh. <laughs> it looks so snug in the morning. Oh. Okay, we have had a couple of hours lying. Um, well, I've been doing some work and planning for next year's exciting things to happen, which I'm super stoked about. But anyway, that's for a different time. Two hours later, it's now just gone 10 o'clock and we're now cracking on with the first job. So my first job of the day, I am doing the painting in our pantry area whilst the hero is organizing the shelves and getting them sanded and varnished. So let's go. and varnishing of the pieces for the shelves and then whilst we're waiting for all that to dry we're going to head out go get the ingredients for the birthday cake go grab some lunch and maybe head to the beach <laughs> it's a rookie mistake <laughs> Cut it to the wrong size. Oh dear. It's gonna look really good, but <laughs> needs to be the right size. You're really good at these things, but you're really disorganized as well. <laughs> That's why I do all the cleaning and all the organizing in our relationship. Yes! Okay, this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> so I've just been looking around the rooms of our house to try and find the leveler so we can get the exact level we need for the shelves, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere. So, Lahiri just had the most amazing idea. It's his idea. He just wanted me to let you know because I don't ever think of these things. I've just downloaded an app on my phone and it says where the level is. Genius! Rue? Are you coming? Oh my god, this is insane! 
insane. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. Technology is amazing. Mm. All right, so Lars and Harry are sorting out our shelves for the pantry area. We need to get those up before we can completely finish it. I'm gonna start making the birthday cake because it's gonna take quite a while to make. The thing is, I don't think I have all the ingredients I need. And I don't have like a device to measure things. Like I don't have a jug or I don't have those cup things. So I'm just gonna wing it as always. And I rarely, rarely cook. I've not cooked in months and months and months. But now that we are almost there with our kitchen renovation, it's still got a little bit of a way to go, but I feel way more comfortable to actually cook things. So I hope in the near future can start cooking a lot more. We can have really healthy meals, a lot more cakes. Two cups of flour. I'm gonna add coffee to it as well. We're cheating for today's recipe because we're not making our own homemade coconut milk. We're buying it in the tin. <laughs> All right, so what have I put in here? Flour, cacao powder, baking powder, baking soda, and sugar and salt. Now I'm gonna mix it all together. By the way, I haven't sieved any of this because we don't have a sieve. One shelf is in, three more to go. Good job, bro. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's gonna look so good. I don't want to boost my ego or anything, but I think this could be the best cake I've ever made. I haven't made that many cakes, but all the cakes I make are all right. Like, they're just fine. But this one, this one tastes amazing. And we haven't even baked it yet. Oh, and also, we don't have any cake tins. So I'm just using this baking tray, which I got from England, which I absolutely love. But I think you just don't need that many kitchen supplies, like you can just use multi-purpose things. Wow, this smells so good. For saying I don't know what I'm doing, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Do you wanna lick the spoon? It's the tradition. The birthday boy gets to lick the birthday spoon. I don't know if you can see that, but our cake has doubled in size. Wow! My cake just had a disaster. All right, just when I thought the day was over, it's not because I now have to cook cuddler curry, chickpea curry, and I say I have to, I have no choice. It is a requirement because it's Lahiri's birthday today, so whatever he wants today, he gets. <laughs> I would have just been satisfied with the chocolate cake, but no, he wants cuddler curry. So I'm just gonna make super simple with just onions, garlic powder, and spinach from our garden because our spinach is growing so good at the moment. I'm so happy. It would be amazing if we could just have an unlimited source of spinach. So that's going in. And then coconut milk, and I don't know what else. Maybe some curry powder, turmeric, salt, pepper. First cake baked in our new kitchen. Body venom, my gathering. I will bring dinner to you. Mine looks gourmet in this dish. We are the canna. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this natural balance. Close your eyes. Happy birthday to you. You can open your eyes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my gathering. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah, I get my kiss. Slowly. 
the not so nice one, mine fell over. <laughs> okay, taste test. How is your chocolate birthday cake? With mango. What mm. is the verdict? <laughs> Nice. It's good? Yeah. Yeah? Is it the best one I've made? Mmm. This cake. Is it? Is it better than our wedding cake? Yeah. Yeah. You're saying that because you have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. In a few weeks we have our North trip. Mm. And we took trip. Then in a normal October we have got... We spent the rest of the evening relaxing and discussing our future plans, which are really exciting. So you're gonna wanna subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new video releases. All right, and there we have it. We have completed our pantry renovations, turning it from a dark, damp squat hole toilet into a walk-in pantry where we can put all of our kitchen supplies and dry food. with help of professionals because we want to do a good job but it's so nice to be able to do projects and put our finishing touches on it and our own like design and I'd be really interested in knowing what you would do if you had a small narrow space like this one what would you do instead of a walk-in pantry but yeah I'd be super interested to know what you would do and also before we go just really quickly in a couple of weeks time Lahira and I are jumping in our tuk-tuk and we're heading from the south of Sri Lanka to the north of Sri Lanka on our tuk-tuk road trip I'm really excited for it we have been busy preparing and organizing for it. So if you have any recommendations of places to go, things to do in the north, like we're heading to Dambula first and then we're gonna do the cultural triangle, head all the way up to Jaffna and see where else we end up. But yeah, any recommendations will be muchly appreciated. <laughs>